Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Muhammad Aziz Akbar bin Anizam So today I want to talk about detect, Detection of NPK nutrient using IoT Python There are five agenda in this slide First is the description Explanation, elaboration, conclusion and reference <coughs> So Soil is, a, is an important source of nutrient for plant growth N is for nitrogen P is for phosphorus Phosphorus and potassium are the three major nutrient. Okay, they are known as NPK when they are all together. Calcium, magnesium, and sulfur are also vital nutrient. Plant are, plant also require essential nutrients such as iron, manganese, zinc, copper, boron, and molyb molybdenum, which are only required in trace amount by the plant. <coughs> IoT is the concept of networking. The physical object with, with the ability to transfer the data from the sensor to the internet. The significant reason for IoT appearance in today's in today's world is to aut automate a system and provide a remote control and monitoring over the system through the internet. So, the design of the NPK sensor. First, we need the four different color of light emit emitting diodes, which is LED. Light dependent resistor LDR and four resistor. The LED will emit the light into the soil solution, and the reflected light will be absorbed by the LDR as the photoconductivity principle. The amount of light reflected per unit flux changes with the res resistance level RL in in the LDR. <coughs> this output voltage represents the data sense by the suggested NPK sensor which provide the value of nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium in the soil chosen for testing. This is the flow. Uh, as, you, as we can see from agriculture field, uh, we use the APK sensor and uh, the analog uh, will convert it to the digital converter and with the, with the Wi-Fi, it will be processed by the Raspberry, Raspberry Pi and give to message to the farmer and to, uh, and to the cloud database so the data collect by the NPK sensor is examined to determine the quantity of nitrogen phosphorus and potassium in the soil in general in general there are two approaches to sensor data analy analysis for computing and edge computing the first analyze sensor data utilizing a processor in physical contact with the world and uh, and other than that it analyzes sensor data over the internet and at a centralized small edge server known as a cloudlet because the voltage based on the chemical present in the soil solution is sensed by the suggested NPK sensor the analysis is performed at the edge level to identify the amount of N, P and K in the soil next the proposed project aims to assist farmer by informing the informing them of the necessary fertilizer that need to be added to the soil at the proper time using an automated IoT system. This section describes the connectivity of the created IoT system for SMS alert generation. The design APK sensor is paired to the processing unit to conduct edge level analysis of the detected data and the corresponding fertilizer information is transmitted via the internet. The first method employs a, a Python software integrated in the Raspberry Pi processor that employs the previously mentioned fuzzy inference system to diagnose soil nutrient deficiency. A system with software is uploaded and is, it also sends a sh short message service or is called SMS to the field owner at a regular interval of time based on the sense value. <laughs> Next, the design APK sensor is tested using two parameters, voltage and soil concentration. This, these two tests are performed on three types of soil, red soil, mountain soil and desert soil. In order to demonstrate the implementation of the calorimetric concept, the APK sensor is tested for nutrient level by changing the concentration of soil solution. As you can see in the diagram, the sensor value is different for three different soil 
and increase proportionally to the concentration of soil with an equal measure of water. The NPK sensors range can be set based on the kind of soil and their standard soil parameters with a well-defined concentration of soil, so, soil solution. Next, the output of the inference system at the edge level result in the delivery of SMS about the proper use of fertilizer based on the present soil nutrient level. This figure is a screenshot of an SMS sent to the mobile phone through the internet. It concludes that fertilizer is not necessary for soil sample 1, which contain enough level of all three macronutrients, uh, nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium. The second SMS alert the farmers to, uh, to, to need for phosphorus and potassium fertilizer to be applied to the, uh, to the land. From this SMS, this method is very effective to the farmers to increase their yield. In conclusion, this MPG sensor that using IoT Python is low cost, accurate and intelligent IoT system with a fuzzy rule based system that intimates the farmer about the deficiency of major soil nutrient namely nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium automatically through SMS and can be used as helping tool for the farmers in agriculture purpose. That's all for me. Thank you.